Fawziya Kasinja's memoir, Do They Hear You When You Cry, is a powerful and inspiring account of her journey as a young woman fleeing persecution and seeking asylum in the United States. The book offers a searing critique of the oppressive practices of female genital mutilation, FGM, and the cultural norms that perpetuate this practice in her native Togo. At the heart of the book is Kasinja's personal story, which serves as a microcosm of the larger issues facing women in many parts of the world. Kasinja grew up in a privileged family in Togo but was subjected to FGM at the age of 17, a practice that left her physically and emotionally scarred. When her father arranged for her to marry a much older man against her will, she decided to flee the country to avoid this fate. Kasinja's account of her journey to the United States is harrowing, filled with moments of fear, uncertainty, and danger. She had to navigate through several countries and evade multiple authorities to reach the U.S., where she was finally able to apply for asylum. Kasinja's experience exposes the many obstacles faced by refugees seeking protection and the systemic failures of the U.S. immigration system. Throughout the book, Kasinja exposes the brutal reality of FGM and the cultural norms that perpetuate it. She describes the physical and psychological trauma inflicted on her and other women who undergo this practice, and the deep-rooted beliefs that make it difficult to eradicate. Her account serves as a powerful indictment of the patriarchal structures that dominate many societies and the violence that is often inflicted on women's bodies in the name of tradition. Kasinja's memoir is also a testament to the power of resilience and determination. Despite the many challenges she faced, she never lost hope or gave up on her dream of finding safety and freedom. Her story is a reminder of the strength of the human spirit and the importance of standing up against oppression and injustice. One of the most striking aspects of Kasinja's memoir is her voice. Her writing is clear and direct, with a powerful emotional resonance that draws the reader into her story. She speaks with an honesty and vulnerability that is rare in memoirs, and her account is all the more powerful for it. Her voice is also a reminder of the importance of giving a platform to marginalized voices, and the value of listening to those who are often silenced. In conclusion, Do They Hear You When You Cry is a remarkable memoir that offers a powerful critique of the oppressive practices of FGM and the cultural norms that perpetuate it. Kasinja's personal story serves as a microcosm of the larger issues facing women in many parts of the world, and her writing is a testament to the power of resilience and determination in the face of oppression. This book is a must-read for anyone interested in human rights, women's rights, and the experiences of refugees and asylum seekers.